That monster tailor. I think somebody's winding me up over this captain's jacket. <laughs> I think we all took up golf probably at school level you were given the opportunity and we were taken to Royal Bowring to try our hand at it and it was the first place I probably found uh, um, I could power fade. There's several players you think of the best players at the time were Niklaus and obviously I think Severiano Ballesteros uh, was probably the best golfer around at the time and uh, has always been a hero of mine. I would like to say he plays a similar game to me, or I, I don't know, but I think he can get out of anywhere, he can get out of trouble, and he finds his balls a lot quicker. I don't think you're going to name like Vice the Slice by not being able to hit it down the 18th fairway and blend it over onto the fairway of the first without going out of bounds. I have to wait a long time to come to my favourite hole, but it will be the 16th. You probably all know why. If you like a lot of chocolate on your biscuit, join out. I'd probably say the third. It always catches everybody out, especially when you're off the white tees. I don't think there's anybody who hasn't gone out of bounds on the third. The highest score? Well, probably NR, but I know I've come off with an 11. I never told you about the shot out of the ditch on the 15th. Get that handle. Go. Go. Come on. Come on. Soft lad. <laughs> I was going mountain fucking climbing. I didn't even get out myself. <laughs> I could say I've never had a hole in one, but have seen quite a few. Um, the closest I've ever been is probably an inch and a half from the actual hole in one. I've pitched near a hole, but I've never had a hole in one. Third, seventh, twelfth, fifteenth, but I was two an uh, inch and a half on the seventh. Um. Obviously, I'm looking forward to obviously being the captain. I think the biggest perk of them all is having your own parking place, as long as nobody's parked in it when you get up there. Um, I'm looking forward to the challenge, and I'm obviously um, going to be a part of the club, and I will give 15% extra. I think we've talked about a par 3 opportunity at Blundells for a long time, but there was a par 3 competition that was on TV recently, and there's a par 3 course recently opened near Blundells Hill, uh, which gave us the opportunity to say, well, we could turn our course into a proper par 3 for a day to see what it was like, and it brings in some incredible holes. And um, it took a while to think of the design, the shortest route, but... Um, Let's face it, if it works and the members are happy, I think we could bring it on to be an annual event.
Mr. Captain, welcome to Mastermind. Your chosen subject is Blundell's Hill Golf Club. Question 1. What is the total length in yards from the white tees? 7,192 yards. Question 2. What is the standard scratch off the yellow tees? 71. Question 3. What is the name of hole 2? Got me. Question 4. Who is this year's club champion? The club champion for this year and well worth it was Ian Hughes. Question 5. How many car park spaces are there in the top car park to the right of the entrance? There are 17 spaces but one of them is for disabled and I know who can park there at the moment. Question 6. How many bunkers are there on the 16th hole? The 16th hole now has four bunkers. Question 7. How many holes have out of bounds on them? Too many. Question 8. What is the name of the lane between the car park and the practice green? Uh, Carla. Question 9. What is the name of the woods to the right of the third hole? Blundell's Woods. Question 10. What does the sign say on the wooden man in the top car park entrance? The wooden man on the top of the park... It, it probably says what you're doing here. Mr. Captain, did you know, for every question you got wrong, you have to buy Mr. President a drink? Never knew that. I think my favourite football team, which everyone should know, 